Hey y'all, I just wanted to hop on camera and just talk to y'all. It's a nice day out here. It is not as cold. Um, it's a little warmer and it's just, it's a vibe. I like standing out here. Anyway, I'm gonna sit down in this. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about, um, talk about like some things that I've been kind of struggling with personally and I think that some people might be able to relate and some people might be able to like I just want this to be like a forum or a platform where someone can relate and probably help and help help each other help themselves help others you know um, but I just wanted to talk about confidence today um, in my take on confidence the past couple of years um, has been a challenge to my confidence what's the the craziest thing is that I just set up this camera and this neighbor is looking at me through their freaking screen door and it's challenging my confidence right now you know, the last couple years has been challenging to my um, to my confidence just because let let's let's go back from the beginning so I am 20 years old now I graduated high school in 2021 and I think honestly like I was um, homeschooled for most of high school like I did virtual school for most of high school um, so I think I started, yeah, I started virtual school my sophomore year and then I graduated still doing virtual school, um, high school. Um, and honestly, y'all, like a lot of people struggled during quarantine with confidence and um, social settings and stuff like after coming out of quarantine, they kind of struggle with those things. And that was just a year and a half or two years and so just picture like a whole high school plus quarantine it, it, it does it will do um, a lot more to your confidence and it probably it would it, I, f I feel like it has affected me a lot more um, my confidence and my like social skills in a way but I just wanted to come on here and talk about certain things that I've kind of overcame and like certain things that I do that helps me with my confidence and helps me kind of overcome that social um, awkwardness or like that um, anxiety that I get socially that I've been that's been working for me and it probably might work for you. These are just two key, uh, well, really three. These are three key things that really help me that probably I, that I feel like will help others if you're watching this and you struggle with the same issue. Anyway, um, it was this one time I was talking to one of my friends about you know having confidence and being a little bit socially anxious and stuff and she gave me the best advice ever um she told me to she told me when she first basically moved out of her hometown she moved to this new place and she kind of had this idea in her head that she would create this new personality no one know who you are when you move to a new place and you have the opportunity to become a whole new person you know because no one knows who you are no one knows your past and you can kind of have a fresh start she found the person that she thought in her eyes was tr really confident and she embodied that person and she told me to find someone that is the definition of what confidence is to you and what um someone that's strong and has a big personality that can in, that inspires you and embody that person you know say i'm this person this is who i am right now this is who i am today or like when you're about to walk into something that you're not confident about or that you're nervous about you know before you walk in say this is who i am i am so and so you know and i embody her and you embody her you embody that character and i feel like i've been doing that i have this friend her name is kiana if you're ever watching this um i love you <laughs> but she is someone that is so confident to me like she embodies a person that is like 
extremely confident she she can talk to anybody she can walk in a room and just her energy just is so huge she's older than me she's a lot more mature than i am and just having someone to look at um for guidance in that area is just like uh, i just she really inspires me like she really does so that's the person that i kind of embody like when i think oh my gosh i'm not feeling too confident about this situation or like oh my gosh i don't want to walk in this room i'm a little nervous i think like girl kiana is gonna she will walk in a room and do not care you know i'm gonna embody her today um all of my friends really like i like to embody different people for different things um my friend abby um if you're watching this too <laughs> she's another person that i like to embody because she is just full of positive energy and full of energy and she just really lights up everyone um and she's just not afraid or even if she is she doesn't let everyone know like everyone the way she operates like you would never know that she's not confident or that she's scared or you know that she's anxious about anything so that's someone that i would choose to embody as well and it really works it really works so that's one thing the next thing is i feel like a lot of the hesitation when it comes to putting yourself in social um situations i think it's important not to overthink it you know just throw yourself into it like there's been many times that I didn't want to like go to the, I've been nervous to go grocery shopping by myself like I've been nervous to just do simple tasks that I just threw myself I was like you know what I am not gonna think about it I am gonna if I have to cry about it I'm gonna cry while driving to the grocery store like I am gonna do it I was not gonna let it stop me and um I remember I said I'm gonna put my headphones in because that helps me like it gets me more it gives me more comfortability to wear like some sort of headphones to kind of zone everyone else out um, at the beginning so I put my headphones in um, and I just threw myself into it I said I'm not gonna call nobody I am not calling anyone for safety or for comfort I'm not calling nobody I'm not gonna um, ask nobody to come with me I'm gonna go by myself I'm gonna go by myself and I'm going to throw myself into it and we're gonna conquer this fear this social anxiety this this confidence issue we're gonna we're gonna conquer it and I did it and I was and yes there was people talking to me at the grocery store. there's many people coming up to me talking to me um, trying to have small talk you know and in the middle of it all I just realized like these are just people you know these are just people everyone has an opinion about something you can't control the things you can't control and in just the midst of it i just had that realization like this isn't even scary you know like what do i like why do i make things such a big deal you know i just started to just throw myself into situations that i know would make me nervous like i don't even give myself time to even think about being nervous or being anxious like i just feel like i just throw myself into it and it's been working for me and um and naturally the more you do that the more it becomes natural to just do things you know and you wouldn't have to throw yourself or push yourself or even think twice about um certain things you know um yeah uh, and i did have a third thing that i do that i um but i can't remember i thought i had it in my head i didn't write it down i thought i had it in my head but anyway those are like two things that two main things that i did that i felt like that i feel like helped me and that might can help someone who's watching this um that might be going through the same kind of issue um um and just realizing just not being afraid oh yeah that's what it was not being afraid of awkwardness i think my whole issue came along when i was kind of afraid of being awkward with people having conversation and not knowing what to say or being judged by others and you know at the end of the day that stuff doesn't matter because what they say and what they think they're not going to come up to you and say oh my gosh i don't like that dress like you're literally so ugly like they're not going to come up to you and tell you their opinion and if they do which some people do are bold enough to say mm, you shouldn't be wearing it you know when they do it's just i just charge it to the jealous i'm i am like my own almond mom like i'm gonna tell uh, they're just jealous you know 
um don't be afraid of i've just kind of made it to where i just kind of believe like don't be afraid of feeling uncomfortable and through that like those instances where you feel uncomfortable just know that you're doing the right thing like just know that this is one instance where you will feel uncomfortable and and when you do it again you won't feel com uncomfortable again because you've been through it already i mean you, you're you're you know what's going to happen you know what to expect um and just continue to put yourself in those uncomfortable situations so you can put, become comfortable in the uncomfortable comfortable in what makes you um what makes you scared you know and soon enough you won't be scared anymore to do those things and you'll be like you'll kind of radiate this confidence and people will be like looking at you like oh my gosh wow like you're not afraid to do anything like you can do anything you can talk to anyone you know um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this really resonated with some people and it helped some people um i just felt the need to kind of come on here and talk about something like that because that's something that kind of been helping me and i'm and it's making me really excited because i feel like oh my gosh i'm kind of getting over this hurdle because when i was younger i was the most confident person ever when i was younger i could talk to anybody i walk in a room girl i didn't care about nothing you know what i'm saying and i'm and i feel like it's important to kind of get back to that childlike state because i feel like as we get older and as we go through things and you know just go through life it kind of we kind of just lose that inner child or that just that childlike innocence about us and i just feel like it's really important to keep that as adults because it will it'll help us it'll help us stay young it'll help us move through life so anyways guys thank you guys for watching